where news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Francis Weller. And I'm John Evans. New at 11 tonight, more places for teachers, firefighters, and nurses to live. New Hanover County Commissioners tonight approved rezoning close to 11 acres of property along Blue Clay Road for a new workforce housing complex. It will go up near New Beginning Christian Church. WECT's Emma Dolan Mayor heard the discussion and vote tonight. Emma Commissioners voted to approve the proposal despite the planning board voting not to recommend it. Yeah, that's right, Fran. Commissioners voted tonight four to one to approve the project, but the planning board voted unanimously against the recommendation back in February. They said it would be too dense of a development compared to the neighboring ones, but Pastor Robert Campbell has criticized the county for not dealing with the lack of affordable housing. Pastor Robert Campbell is taking the gospel out of the four walls of the church and into the community. He owns the land off Blue Clay Road where he already was approved to build 68 units of affordable senior housing. Now he has the green light to build 128 workforce housing units. I'm not building affordable houses for myself. I don't need it, but our community does. Some county commissioners agree. We've got to find a way to, again to approve as many projects as possible if they make sense and only if they make sense and this project for me definitely made sense and it made sense for our board of commissioners as well. The proposal passed four to one despite the planning board denying recommending the project due to density concerns. One county commissioner says she agrees with the planning board on this one. I just felt like that was too much density, two and three story buildings amongst a single family neighborhood. I, I know we need that in New Hanover County, but we have to pick and choose what are the right projects, not just for that project, for, but for all the ones surrounding, all the folks who live around it. Some of those neighbors speaking out tonight against the project. I'm just shocked that this has even been brought up for any kind of consideration. And others for it. I love the idea of new housing. Um, give these folks a break. I mean, some people are in tough situations due to nothing they've done wrong. Commissioner's approval and the community's support means there's now more places to live for our teachers, firefighters, and nurses. Today was a great victory for our community. Pastor Campbell says he expects rent to run anywhere from $470 for a one-bedroom to $1,100 for a three-bedroom. Fran, he tells me they will now look at funding options for the project, including grant funding or low-income tax credits. No word on when Pastor Campbell plans to break ground. All right, thanks so much. The search has officially started to choose the next CEO of the group responsible for distributing millions of dollars to the community. New Hanover Community Endowment Board Chair Bill Cameron tells us recruitment is underway for applicants to fill the role of president and CEO. Interviews are expected to begin soon, and the board hopes to fill the position in the next six months. Executive Vice President Lakeisha McDay has been filling in since former President William Buster resigned last month. We're told the CEO search won't impact the disbursement of grants. The endowment board still plans to roll out grants throughout the year. Commissioners also approved a deal involving the future grocery store planned for one of Wilmington's food desert areas. A four to one vote approved a memorandum of understanding with the Northside Food Co-op regarding the store that'll be built there at the corner of 10th and Post Streets. The county will provide about two and a half million dollars for project costs and lease the facility to Growing Resilience, the co-op's nonprofit arm, at a dollar a year for the first nine years. The county would also cover cash flow deficits for the first five years, up to one and a half million bucks. Growing Resilience will maintain and operate the grocery store. Now here's the expected timeline for the rest of the project. A design contract will be awarded in June. Final plan set to be approved in December. The construction process should begin in March with the building set to be finished by next April.